how would you say you're doing now after going through the transfer, making a way here, and you know now you'll be ready to play in a week or so? Um, I feel really good, especially like physically. I'm still working on my back, but other than that, I feel good, especially about where I'm at and like the players that I'm with and the school that I'm at. I feel like I've transitioned really well, and I really like the people that I'm with, and I feel like that's going to affect how I play. How hard was it to leave Holy Angels, and how quickly, uh, how quickly were you able to adapt to Kennedy? Um, I feel like it was really easy to adapt because I've known a lot of people here, and I've played with the coaches, and I played against some of the players. But it was really hard for me to leave Holy Angels, especially because I've been playing there for five years. So that was pretty tough for me. And then you'll be you'll be playing them in December, and so how, I know you've got a few games before then, but you know knowing that, how surreal is it going to be? And it's going to be pretty crazy because I've been playing there for so long, and it's finally just like going up against them. But I feel like it's going to be a good thing for me and for them. It's kind of just kind of like knowing that it's kind of over, I guess. What does it mean for you to take part in the NLI and get um, and, you know, get your moment with a few other athletes up here? It's really cool because I've been waiting for this moment for a really long time and just all the stress that it's been and I feel like it's really good because now it's finally over. What puts you in a good mood to uh, you know, as you go into your senior season? Just knowing that the people that I'm around kind of support me and want what's best for me and just knowing that next year, whatever happens, that I'll be going to play at Arkansas. Then I also was told that uh, you've been, you're in the best shape of your life as well. So just what, I guess, what have you been on? What's been the regimen to get you in this, to get you in game form? Um, mainly physical therapy. Like I said, I hurt my back and I've just had to do a bunch of physical therapy to get it back together. And a lot of like swimming and stuff like that. So that's had a lot of, to do with how I feel. What was your thought or reaction when it first happened and now that you've been able to work your way back from it, how do you feel now? At first I was super scared because I didn't know if it was something that I could come back from. And now that it's been so long since I've played, I've kind of got more of an edge to play. I'm guessing you're the first to go D1 in your family. Um, but yeah, what does that mean for you uh, to blaze a trail, if you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's really cool, especially because my family is such a basketball family and they're really proud of me to be there and it's kind of like living on a dream, I guess. What would you say is the toughest part about changing schools you know, in where you said you played at Holy Angels for five years and you're changing schools with you know just one year left at the prep level? Yeah. Um, mainly, I was just really nervous about the type of people that I would come across and just worried that that would kind of not transfer over, but it's been really good for me. And I know you've had a couple of practices now. How would you say, um, what would you make of your new teammates? They're, they're really excited to play and they really like to play and they're really competitive with everything they do, even if it's just like a small drill. They just want to win and I feel like that's going to be something that gives us an edge as we go on the season. What could folks take away from your journey where you know, you had a back injury that could have sidelined you right before your senior season, and then changing schools you know, as late as you have, also not an easy thing. What could folks take away from the choices and the destinations you know, you've reached, and how, you know, in spite of all that, or in the midst of all that, you know, you're still going? Um, I just think that to know that I really like to play, and that even though it was like a small setback, that it's gonna be something that it's like a big takeaway from this season. And not to not to put you on the spot or inflate your ego, but uh, what uh, what can we expect out of Destiny Oberg here as uh, as the senior as you start your season Thanksgiving weekend? Um, jeez, I don't know. Really, just I've been working out a lot more on my outside game and just like perfecting my inside game. So mainly more of a versatile player, I guess. What, uh, what excites you the most as uh, you prepare for Arkansas and you know, getting to play for my neighbors? Mainly just the people that I will be playing for because they're such like big basketball fans and just being able to go down there and make them proud. You think you can handle the SEC? Yeah. yeah.